Hello everybody, mind your head, this is Captain Dennis with another fantastic dive video with SquallsMarine.com. We are heading out today with Conquer Public Divers in Tavernier, Florida, and we're uh, sneaking underneath the highway to make our way out to the Wreck of the Eagle. No relation to the Eagle up there in Maine, which you can check out on the Smithsonian Channel. It's got a lot more history than this one. This is an artificial wreck um, that was sunk uh, probably a while ago. I don't know the exact numbers and or dates, but we're heading out to check it out. And this one is different than any other wreck we've done. Um, it's about 50% uh, fifty percent different than the San Diego, which is up in New York. And you'll see what I'm getting at in a minute when I say 50%. Well, 25%. So we're going to make our way over here and pop in the water and check it out. And it's a little different down here in Florida because you got blue water and you can kind of see for a little bit. So we're going to descend down the uh, mooring line. There's a bunch of moorings on here. There's one on the stern and, and one on the bow. But we're going to be descending on the one on the stern. See it? Can you see it? And you'll figure out what I was talking about, about being different. Kind of like San Diego. You can start to see the ship there, but... If you notice something, she's on her side. San Diego is completely upside down, so that's where I was going with the percentages. But anyways, we are tied into the stern, and we're going to go down and check it out. It's cool. I'm pretty excited to dive a wreck that's on its side. So if you get motion sickness, I don't know what to tell you. It may be a little disorienting. So this is the first dive we're going to do on it. So we're going to plop down. And here you can see it's it's listing lazily to the right. And it is uh, in the sand. So the port is actually up. And the starboard is actually down. And the midship or whatever up is... You'll see. It gets confusing. So we're coming down here. We're going to look at the... Uh, we're in the aft section. You can see it's down here for quite a while. There's a lot of stuff, cool stuff growing on it. And I got some new lights. So we're going to try those out and see if we can fight back the particulate. And thanks to Ryan for making that suggestion. So we're going to scoot around. I try to get the whole boat in. You can see our uh, buddies are coming down the line. I'm going to swim away. And that's kind of how it's supposed to look. But that's how it does look. So let's go take a look over at the running gear and we'll look at the rudder. And there's a big old blast hole down here from when they sunk it and I feel like I'm being watched. If you look in that hole, you can see somebody checking us out. It's a big old grouper in there. Let's see if we can get a better, better look at him. And there's another one in there who's sneaking his way into the interior of the ship. So they, they probably got this thing figured out. We're not going in that way. And we're probably at about, uh, I don't know, 113, 114 feet right at about here, give or take. And you can see the prop. And it's the bottom part of the ship. So now we're heading forward, but on the starboard side, kind of crooked sideways. So we're going to look inside and see what it looks like inside. So again, we're on our side, so hold on. You can see the windows up top are getting most of the sunlight. And the ones on the bottom are getting nothing. So I'm going to scoot around and we're actually heading up, which is actually right. And there's a stern. So we're, now we're heading forward, but we're on the roof. I know, it's confusing. So here we've got, um, I don't know, it's like a crow's nest type of thing. And then you got your uh, funnel over to the left. Take a better look at this crow's nest looking like thing. And we're going to turn and take a look at the, the funnel or the smokestack. So here we are on the top. And most people think it's just a big, big old hole up there. But it's not. It's like, it's like this. It's like little smaller things. And look at this guy. Hello. How you doing? And if you notice, um, as we get closer... Um, to you know the marine life and the growth and all that good stuff you can see all the colors come out with the light without the light you know the color gets diffused 
you, you really don't have any color without the light. So now we are making our way forward. And we got uh, these things that kind of come up on either side of the ship. Kind of like some goalposts. I don't know if the fancy term is for them. It's not, I don't know much about this boat, but it's okay. And look at that. See who that is? Oh. Barracuda. Barracuda. And uh, he's not moving. I'm going to play chicken with him for a little while. See if we can see what we can do with him. He's just hanging out. There he goes. Those are some shiny fish. So now we're way up top on the on the roof. And we're going to slowly descend a little bit. Got some uh, machinery over there on the right. Some kind of like reel or something. And some of the ship goes off into the sand. Again, we're leaning to the right. So I'm going to turn around. Here's the, the front of the ship. See kind of the aft part of the ship. And we'll start to descend the deck or two, but we're not really descending. We're, you know, it's confusing. So now we are looking at one of the lower decks, but we're moving up, which is moving to port. So stick with me. It gets, like I said. We're going to stick our head in here. This is uh, the aft section, which we looked in the other side. And you can see the lights coming in through the port side. So now we're up on the top of the ship, which is actually the port side of the ship, heading along the gunnel moving forward. And you can start to make out the, the bow, with some, the business end of the bow. There's a big old section in the middle, and uh, we'll revisit that on our second dive. So we are going sideways up the sideways stairs, up to the sideways bow. And if we look to the right, you can see big old mass type of thingy over there. Got your bits. And here we are on the bow looking aft. So this is what the nose looks like, and you can kind of see the mast over there. And again, listing to uh, starboard. So now we're going to turn around and head back. And you can see this is the business end of the bow. Lots of cool stuff down here. And we've got a second dive on this too. So we're just kind of giving this a good old once over. There's the middle section that we were talking about before. And this is kind of some crushed parts of the ship I guess the storms did some some damage so now we're coming across a big crack in the middle of the ship and we start to make out the aft section again you can kind of see with the diver off to the left what the scales like so it's a pretty big old boat here be kind of cool if Zamfir would kick back with that flute for a second But uh, it was pretty cool to dive a wreck that was on its side like this. It uh, gives you kind of a perspective of uh, how things can end up. Sometimes they end up really bad, like, like San Diego, where you're, you're just swimming across the bottom. But the San Diego offers some penetration stuff. So check out the USS San Diego uh, on our channel if you want to see a ship that's completely turtled, which is upside down. Well, judging from the numbers on my SPG, we've reached the end of our dive, uh, the first dive here on the Eagle. So we're going to get up top, do our interval, and we'd like to thank uh, Gary Mace and Captain Jason for uh, taking us out here with Conquer Public Divers, a great operation down in Tavernier, Florida. Highly uh, recommended, great operation. And uh, if you want to check out some other wrecks, go to squallsmarine.com. And until next time, I'm Captain Dennis.